fortune. I am your host, James Duval. Last week, we saw Emma from Canterbury take home a whopping £3,000. I know, I know. She did really well, but she failed to secure the £10,000 jackpot. With that in mind, it's still up for grabs. So what will it be? Fall or fortune? That's up to this week's contestants to decide. So stay tuned to find out. First, let's meet contestant number one. Hi, I'm Jody, and I'm from Bristol. And contestant number two. Hi, my name is Darren, and I'm from Essex. And finally, contestant number three. Hi, I'm Laurie, and I'm from Cambridgeshire. Thank you very much to all of you, and a very warm welcome to Fool and Fortune. This week's jackpot is still £10,000. No big deal. Just a quick trip to the shops and back. Easy as that. <laughs> Do you ever wish you could escape from your everyday life? Well, here's your chance. County Airlines are offering you the chance to win an all-inclusive seven-day trip to Prosperity Park's finest retreat. Just send an email to prize at countyairlines.com today. That's prize at countyairlines.com for your chance to win. Escape awaits at Prosperity Park. Applications close on midnight the 12th of March. You must be over 18 to apply and hold a valid UK passport. Only one entry per person is permitted and multiple entries will be void. By applying, you're agreeing to the terms and conditions. Visit countyairlines.com forward slash prizes for more information. Stop fooling yourself, kid. I mean, getting all the way to Prosperity Park. Stan, you can't even get through your front door. That's not true. I just don't need to leave at the moment. At the moment? I know for a fact you haven't left this house for six months. No. I haven't. That's because there's nothing out there for me. Not anymore. But now... But now? Now what, Stan? I hate to tell you, but nothing's changed. Taking some crazy trip back to Prosperity Park. It's not going to change anything. It's not... I know that. I know. But I can do this. I've got to do this. I... I have to do this. Anyway. It's only a day by plane. Now, this is primetime entertainment. Are you telling me that you... You are going to catch a plane... Do you even realise how many germs are seething on those things? It's a petri dish of E. coli and influenza. Stan, think of the bacteria breeding... Okay, in... okay. I get the picture. Look, we're just going to have to accept it. For now, you're just not cut out for travel, Stan, and that's fine. 
you've been there and done that and you've got some wonderful memories. But for now, for now, that's all they are. Memories. No. I have to go back there. Just one more time. I can't keep living in the past. Besides, it's not like I'll win anyway. Well, open it then. Oh well, maybe it's for the best. No. I won. <laughs> I actually won! There's so much to do. I've got to get organised. I've got to pack. I've got to find my passport. I can't. I can't leave. I thought that if I could just go back to that park, get back to those memories, get closer to him, it would all be okay. But I just can't do it. Those days are gone, Stan. I'm sorry. I really am. We met in Prosperity Park, you know. Three years ago last month. That was the happiest I've ever been. No day goes by where I don't think of him. I miss him. I really do. I miss who I was when I was with him. We were gonna get married. Move in together, I was gonna be happy. I was gonna live. Really live. I know, kid. Trust me, I do, but... Look at what you've become. Look at what this grieving's done to you. You're ill, Stanley. And it's gonna take time to get back to where you were. Some crazy trip's not gonna fix that. I just thought that if I could get back to that park and relive that moment where I was happiest, everything would be okay again. That I would be okay again. There's no getting back to that moment. There's no magic instant fix, Stan. There is only the now. I don't want the now. I wish he was here. He always knew the right thing to say. But now, just look at me. Everything I've lost, I'm scared. I'm scared of leaving the house. Scared of living. I just, I can't make that leap. I can't go. Then don't. Maybe your next adventure doesn't start with a leap. Maybe it starts with a step. And a step's fine, as long as it's in the right direction. Just a step. And I'll be here with you, every step of the way, kid. Okay. I think I'm ready.